Even though some progress has been made, engineering is still considered a man's world. The Society of Women Engineers says only 13% of the engineering workforce are women, but SAU-TV's Tom Greenwood reports there is a group at St. Ambrose University doing something to try and improve those numbers. Every year, St. Ambrose University hosts an event which invites girls from the ages of 3 to 13 to come and learn about engineering. This year, over 500 people turned up. Event organizer Jody Procise recognizes the importance of encouraging these young women. I'm really passionate about trying to get more girls into STEM. I just think it's really, really important. It's a really awesome career for all girls, and so many girls just don't know that they can do it. 32 companies attended the event, up from 25 last year, and they were looking to make a positive impact on these young women. A large number of organizations just like these have brought various activities to show that young women, engineering can be fun. Engineers from these organizations value the impact that women can make in this field and look to find fun ways to increase young girls' interest. As you see all these statistics that say there's a shortage of uh, engineers and, and every scientist in the STEM fields, and, uh, and this certainly does help those sort of things. I have, I have three girls myself, and I might get one of them to work in uh, STEM, and this is the kind of thing that helps them do that. St. Ambrose University has hosted Introduce a Girl to Engineering for eight years, and ProSci says they have seen more and more girls returning each year. Tom Greenwood, Dateline SAU. A St. Ambrose student with diabetes has been using his disease to promote a positive message through his love of basketball. Dateline's SAU's Tom Greenwood introduces us to this remarkable student athlete. Jake Temple was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the age of 17, which has had a major impact on his life. Temple constantly has to test his blood sugar levels throughout the day and has to take his diabetes kit with him wherever he goes to ensure his sugar levels are at a safe level. Lack of monitoring his levels could land him in hospital, but he doesn't let that stop him from being positive. Yeah, so I think the getting diabetes has actually had some positive impacts on my life. Um, when I first got it, I started eating a lot healthier. I started like counting all my carbs and I was doing a lot of like really healthy habits. And it really motivated me by doing that because I was in better shape, I felt better, you know, it, was, it felt really good. Temple created a basketball Instagram page to encourage people like himself that they can achieve their goals and don't have to let their limitations negatively affect their life. He uploads dunking videos to show people that no matter what their situation, their goals can be achieved. He does this with the help of his basketballing friend, Jake Meske, who set up the Instagram page. Well, it was Temple's idea for a while, and I've always been pretty good friends with him, so I thought it was a good idea to help support him um, and get the word out. Temple has had some success with the Instagram page and received some positive feedback. So since I've started my Instagram page, I've had a lot of people at St. Ambrose University and family and friends from home, you know, get back to me and say that, you know, the motivation that you have put out on your page has really motivated me to, like, strive for my goals and encourage my family and friends from back home or here at school to just keep going and keep grinding and you know strive for your goals. Temple hopes to keep his page growing and inspire even more people. Tom Greenwood, Dateline SAU. This week, St. Ambrose is celebrating diversity. The Rogalski Center hosted the Quad City World Cultures Festival. Dateline SAU's Tom Greenwood went to see what the celebration was all about. Food, dance and dress. This was brought to the SAU campus in abundance on Wednesday. International residents came to the SAU campus to show off their cultures and traditions. The festival was part of the SAU's Multicultural Week. The campus hosts different events to celebrate diversity on campus. The festival is the largest multicultural event in the Quad Cities area. This year it saw 12 performers from 12 different countries and 16 table hosts from 20 different countries. Associate Professor of Political Science Doug Kim recognizes the importance of the event. You know, this is a great opportunity to celebrate, you know, um, different cultures. And we invite people to the community, to St. Ambrose campus, and have them opportunity to present their cultures. There were also vendors set up showing what made their culture unique. The festival has brought people of all ages and backgrounds to the SAU campus. Kim says the popularity of the event has grown since last year and believes it has had a positive impact on the community. Tom Greenwood, Dayline SAU.